Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my development diary for the game Stormbreak. I'm going to show off a new environment here, or at least what I'm working on with it so far. This part of the game takes place approximately six hours into the game. Now, it's not exactly um, a firm estimate. It's kind of hard for me to tell exactly how far this kind of stuff goes in, because... Well, I kind of know exactly what you have to do to make your way through the environment. So there's no exploration when I go through. There's also a lot of areas in the game where I haven't really populated it with enemies so far. So I can sort of rush through any environment without even getting into a single fight in most cases. Because I didn't really fill it with enemies and I'm probably going to be handling that maybe even last. While debugging and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to say about six hours into the game, you'll run into this area. And, well, it wasn't really shaping up the way I wanted it to. Here is the map that we are seeing in the game engine's level editor. Everything looks weird. I don't even know what that was over there. But everything is flat. It looks like crap. I'm using assets from the uh, Pioneer, uh, Pioneer Valley... Um, resource pack and uh, like it just wasn't looking very good so I decided to do something that I was going to try and avoid doing as much as I can and refer to pre-rendering my asset my environments rather than having the level uh, putting them together in the level editor and having it generated on the fly during develop or during gameplay so out with this, in with that. Much better. Now, part of the reason why I'd want to do this is because, well, I have much more freedom in the where I physically am able to place my items. While using the level editor, I kind of have to place everything, aligning them by a grid-based system. Your tree is here, or your tree is exactly one centimeter to the right or to the left, or whatever, depending on the size of your screen. Y you get what I mean. Everything's grid-based. So I can't just place anything exactly where I want it to to get the kind of appearance that I really want out of it. But here, using Photoshop, I do not have to worry about that. And thanks to the new MV um, engine being more advanced than the previous ones, I'm not as limited size-wise by constraints like that into how big I can make these environments. I was very limited by that in the previous map. So if I wanted to make a large environment like I did at, in the fort that we had seen a few episodes back, it had to be fairly small and, well... That's the reason why I really, one of the reasons at least, why I didn't want to go through a lot of effort to create these environments using this uh, parallax mapping procedure that we use here. In the game engine, it's supposed to be like a parallax mapping um, option where the background can move at a different pace than some other part in the environment, giving a kind of pseudo 3D effect. Something a lot of people end up doing, though, is locking that parallax background to the foreground and using it as the background, uh, using it as sort of like the environment. And that can look pretty cool. I'm hoping it doesn't create too big of a clash between different environments I'm going to be walking through. Probably won't be that big of a problem, but it is something I am keeping in mind. So, I was able to create a more detailed thing. I can draw from a lot of different tile sets instead of the four or five that the engine allows me to. This environment is very incomplete. I still have to put in the buildings and the proper roads, and I can start populating it with the events that I've already started to do with the other version of the map. I've also gone and added in a wharf down here. It's damaged, and there's a ship there. Um, that was pulled. That's a uh, free 3D asset that I had used. Maybe I'll put a link to that also. It's supposed to be modeled after the HMS Victory, the uh, old-ass British ship, which 
I guess maybe you could say it's still around, although I'd call it a building nowadays rather than a ship. Sitting there, docked up, all that kind of stuff. And it's not quite realistic size of the city, but it's a video game, so it doesn't really need to be that realistically sized. Plus, as your player going through here, you're not actually going to have access to this entire environment. So you'll get the impression, at least, that the city is larger than what you're able to see. That's something, that's a thought that's running through my head, whether anyone will have that same idea, I don't know. But anyway, there we go. Now, I'm not going to be, of course, doing this kind of thing for every single map that I create in the game, for the obvious reason that it takes forever. Holy crap, this takes forever. I mean, sitting down and piecing everything together, this, this simple thing that I put together didn't really take that long, but I, I'm not finished yet, obviously. I haven't put together buildings up together. I haven't done a whole lot of different things. And it's kind of uh, a daunting task, to say the least, trying to go and finish all this stuff, put it all together, see what I can make out of it. And then I gotta go map all the areas out where your characters are capable of walking, or where your cap characters shouldn't be walking, or shouldn't be capable of walking, all that kind of stuff. So, I still have some more work to do. But hopefully, it will all be worth the effort. Now, I'm, uh, I'm creeping back. I've been neglecting working on this game for any significant period of time, like maybe like a couple of hours a week. I'd open up an editor and work on some th character model, or I'd, I'd add in an event here or there, or, or something like that. But the past couple of months, I haven't really been putting a lot of effort into this because of other things that I've been tied down with. But I'm um, getting some renewed interest in myself in pursuing this effort. So hopefully I will continue along at the pace that I've been doing for the past couple of days and I can actually finish this stupid project. <laughs> Crap, what did I just delete? Uh, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope somebody is enjoying this out there somewhere in internet land.